Hey, what is up everybody? Here's Matsek once again in today's video. We're gonna be um, playing Valentine from Hog the Box. This is a easy level machine thing, but it in the but in the ranking, like user ranking, it seems more like a uh, medium level, but it's because of the first vulnerability we need to exploit. But um, it's not that um, difficult to catch actually, just at first. So let me just walk you through the whole uh, a map command I used um, to scan the network. So as always, I use tag pn to tell nmap that the host is already up and running, tag sv to perform a service version detection scan. Basically this column right here for version. That, um, well, the c appended to it, just a shorthand for another parameter which is, which is uh, tag sc, but you can just merge them. And it will perform several default scripts for each um, like port. For example, for HTTP, we have title server header. While for HTTP over SSL on port 443, we have title, but also SSL certificate. So we see some information. Uh, the domain, valentine.htb, Florida, US information, right? SSL date. Um, and all that that kind of stuff right i don't know what happened there <laughs> um okay um also i used a minimum rate of 500 packages a minute since we were in a in a vpn uh so communications are slow and 500 packages a minute is just about right in terms of the rate i want to send over the wire uh but other folks have been using 5000 even 5000 packages a minute which is for me crazy uh, because it has made me lose a lot of information so this is not often recommended but in a CDF environment and all the stuff it is uh, also tagging it the attack and to disable DNS resolution tag p tag will perform a, a D scan over the whole range of ports that are available over the TCP IP protocol which is 65,535 um and lastly the uh well the location to save the output right now in the meantime um i'm going to be doing something else which is first i'm going to be using an echo i'm going to be using tag pn i'm going to be using a script bone um boom that's it i want to uh, um, perform a vulnerability scan over this um like this um well this um server right also the ports 22 80 443 so that we don't lose time scanning all other ports and that would be it right and tag n and tag v just to see the progress of it and that's it so um here we are and um, we have a HTTP protocol and HTTPS protocol, which is self-signed, so that the reason you will see a exclamation mark in here. And there's only an image uh, called omg.jpg, nothing else. But we could start pausing it here. So FFUF, just like this. FFUF is my preferred tool when it comes to pausing. Also, I'll be using color output. Um, you for the URL, HTTP this, and bus, right? Uh, the world list will be from their buster, directory list 2.3 medium and 200 threats. And we see several things such as decode, encode, and def. Let us see what is that. Encode. Uh, I'm gonna pause it with enter. That's one of the best things I uh, well, I prefer about FFUF. And look at this. So, <clears throat> the vulnerability scan just came back. Uh, we see that uh, for the HTTP protocol, okay, for the HTTP protocol, we have, um, well, def, which I, which we actually saw it in the fuzzing tool. Uh, CV, I don't know what, script execution failed, and over to 443, same thing, and it says SSL hard bleed, 
vulnerable. The Heartbleed bug is a serious vulnerability in the popular OpenSSL cryptographic software library. It allows for stealing information intended to be protected by SSL or TLS encryption vulnerable high. So, okay, that is fantastic. Also, SSL man in the middle vulnerability, CSS injection. Uh, vulnerable SSL poodle information leak. There's a CV assigned to it, and that's cool. So we have this uh, encoder, and I don't know what this is. Yeah, ASD. And inputting here, we also saw a decoder and a def. But you can play around with these both both these two tools. But in this case, I'm kind of only interested in two the hard bleed thing because if you see this it's like a hard bleeding so it's just a hint about it so i see notes at txt and it says to do coffee research fi fix decoder encoder before going live so there must be some error or i don't know what right there must be some error around uh don't use the decoder until it, any of this is done find a better way to take notes so interesting also, hype key, and I see a, a bunch of text, which is actually hexadecimal, right? I can um, scroll this, and we can turn this into ASCII text by using... Um, damn it. Oh, wow. Forgot the... Man. So, Linux, hex, convert, command like that i don't know i just forgot X, xxz right so the command option tag r converts the hex character to ascii so it's like a reverse right but uh it looks like it just decodes the first one so we might need to add a ps before so that uh we got the whole thing and you will see that we have an rsa private key probably for ssh we have kind of a user that we might need to try it with which is hype right that's why it says hype key so cool um but we'll we'll save this uh for the future because i want to search in the exploit dvs database search exploit hard bleed right um and memory disclosure information leak I'm gonna be trying this one which is a python script so actually let me go to exploit search then search exploit uh tag m to downloading here in python 3 this and it it is in a different print statement so python 2 instead and it asks us for the server right here in the usage and port default is 443 which we don't need to specify a different one and I see here, uh, well, a lot of information, but mostly blank. So what I'm going to do is just uh, do something like this. Uh, the output, I'm going to be sav saving it to dump. And then I'm going to be using less dump because with that, I can see the, like the output in the first try. So I don't need even, I don't even need to like go i scroll down so once again nothing once again nothing once again now look at that i mean it's disclosing memory on a random fashion so we have a decode.php i mean i might be familiar with that decode.php and there's a variable called text with a yeah, with a base 64 string so i might want to check that and I'm going to see, for example, here, echo, and copy this, then append in this, then this one, and base64d, right? And look at that. So, hard bleed believe the high. So, obviously, this is your CDF ish, um, but it really represents the the level of exposure one might have if this vulnerability vulnerability is there right so how bleed believe the hype so i might think that that is actually um like the password of it 
right now i want to try to log in directly so ssh i'm gonna be copying this and before everything else i'm gonna be using this psr right i'm gonna be saving it into idrsa right we always need to give it 600 set of permissions to this key IDRSA, so SSH, type, at, the IP, IIDRSA. And yes. And it's taking a long time. It's, it's usually faster, SSH. And the overall, like, network, uh, network speed is not that, 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 uh, Okay, so it says sign and send public key you know, mutual signature support. So we, we might need to look look it up on Google. And if I send this and Stack Overflow, which is a great resource for resolving a lot of bugs we might come across in the future at any time. Let us just let us just read it. Here it says when I updated my Mac system, whatever, because, okay, so here it added to the config that is this H file uh, to, like, I don't know what this is, but two lines. And I can tell you right away that we can actually use this with the tag O um, options in SSH. So let us try like that. Actually, I need to copy this again. So. Where is it? Here. Horribly believe the hype. Let's just wait a bit. Uh, passphrase. And there you go. So we're in. So sudo tag l first of all. Um, maybe it's password we're using. Nope. We don't have the hype's password. And let us take a look at the home folder. And well, first things first, I can see a bash history here without the redirection to the def null. So I can read it. So bash history. And I see x8, x8, lsla, lsla, cd dev, stmox, l, stmox s. So the user uses tmx and it's been using kind of a, I mean, it's been saving a session into a file. So lsla that uh devs i don't know how is it and i don't see it in here so i'm not really sure oh okay so lsla i mean devs it's in the root folder and dev says so there's a file uh, which is the session team accession. So I'm just gonna copy this command right here and try to enter it. And there's a terminal error, so I'm gonna be exporting term to equal text term. That will also help me to hit control L and team access. And there you go. Okay, so we're inside a team accession. We are root. <laughs> That's incredible. So if we go to root, there you go, we can cat root out. Uh, feel free to look for user.txt file as well. And that should be it for this machine. I mean, it's a pretty old vulnerability, but it's overall a great experience always to know about these ones. This was a classic one in this time. And I, I really liked it, you know? I mean, it's it's simple, it's easy, it's it's quick to, to root, but it's fine. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I learned a few new things when I first did it uh, a couple of months ago I think I did it um, but well yes knowledge refreshment so I'm gonna be wrapping it up right here and I'll see you later guys in another video thank you so much for joining